Good morning, I'm Manny Anton with the US Market Wrap. US markets kicked off the post-Easter week by giving up ground on what was a winning month for March and a strong first quarter. New inflation data raised concerns that the Fed may struggle to hit its target of three rate cuts by the end of 2024. The Dow fell 0.6%, the S&P 500 slid 0.2%, and the Nasdaq bucked the, uh, the trend by managing to tip into positive territory, closing up 0.1%. Turning to US sectors, communications and energy were the best performers, closing up 1.45% and 0.8% respectively. The worst performing sector was real estate, closing down 1.8%, followed by healthcare, which closed the day down 0.88%. Investors reacted to the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, which was released ahead of the Easter break. The core PCE, which excludes food and energy, showed inflation rose 2.8%, which was in line with expectations on a 12-month basis. However, on a monthly basis, the metric was up 0.3% on the previous month, which caused some concern. Treasury yields reacted to the new data by rising on Monday, with the benchmark 10-year Treasury yield up more than 12 basis points at 4.317%. In commodities news, oil futures rose on reports that the Iranian consulate in Damascus was hit by an Israeli missile strike, which may have killed several high-ranking Iranian commanders. WTI closed the day up almost 1% on the news. In local markets, investors will be looking at the release of the latest monetary policy minutes from the Reserve Bank of Australia, which will provide additional colour on the central bank's decision to leave rates unchanged in March. Thank you for watching and have a good day.